Howdy tubers. I got a uh, little project and a kind of old cool old machine that we're going to do it on today. Welcome to the Zach Life. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. This is a Brown and Sharp number two mill. It's a pretty neat old machine. I've tried to I've tried to figure out what year it is and I really can't. I don't have any any idea. The patent date on it is 1903. I found some uh, a brochure from the 40s of a of a number two, which I guess is the model number. It's got a big number two cast in the side over here. Uh, but it, it the one from the 40s looked a lot more modern. It, I I don't know. I assume it's probably 20s or 30s, but that's a complete guess. It's got um, a couple of gear levers here. And that moves back and forth. You set the uh, different feed speeds. You can use this as like got a planetary in here for the spindle turns about a third the speed of this, or it's got a lock that locks the uh, the spindle to this speed right in there. I don't know if you can see it, uh, but anyway, it's a really neat machine in that it's power feed in all three in all three directions. Um, in fact, I guess I'll crank it up and I'll and I'll just show you. <coughs> okay, so I got the machine running, and I've got it set to the fastest speed rate, so that it'll be more obvious the table and stuff moving. But it's got three levers. Uh, this one engages where it moves forward and back. Uh, this one here goes up and down. The table goes up or down. You can see it. This handle's moving. It's got a reverse lever under here. You can reverse that, and that causes everything to go in the opposite direction. And then this runs the uh, table left or, or right. Anyway, what I got going here, I got an exhaust manifold that's been cracked. And I took some nickel and welded it up, and I'm going to put this in this mill and surface this face here. If you'll notice, I don't know how well you can see, but it's actually got a ratchet strap that I, I sewed together with all. Originally, it had a, a leather belt, but the belt broke from all the pieces. And uh, this machine would have run in a line shaft shop so that that. That uh, ratchet strap there that will have been, would have been a belt would run up to a shaft that ran to the ceiling of the shop, and that's what would have powered the machine. And this little gearbox and motor on top were added later. And if you'll notice too that the little shiv, the pulley up there, the sonic gearbox is actually made out of wood.
All right, well, this came out pretty good. My uh, my welding's horrible with the nickel, but it's got just a slight, like, prosty of the weld or whatever. Very small. I think we'll probably carbon up. This one's got a good sealing surface. Anyway, that's nice and flat. Anyway, hope you like this. It's, you know, pretty cool machine. And it's horizontal, which is not as useful unless uh, unless you need one like this. You know, that exhaust manifold that's at a 90 degree angle makes it super simple. You just chunk it down right there, bolt it down, and you're good to go. I built a bunch of, uh, well, not a bunch. I built a, a head that would take a, uh, a hole saw. And I've got a rock crawler, and I, I notched all the tubing. It made an awesome tubing notcher. I had a couple of cheap Harbor Freight this bench vices that I bolted on here you can stick a piece of tubing in it you know go up or down you know left or right you know you could just get it just exactly where you want it and throw that thing in gear and uh, you know it's kind of slow might have took a minute or so per notch but you just chunk it in gear and go make a weld or do something else while uh, while it cuts it anyway thought y'all might want to see this I like old cool old junk and uh, this is some of the stuff, uh, some of the stuff I've got. Anyway, hope y'all found it interesting. I'll catch y'all later.